join my Patreon at patreon.com slash bunnytales for the full uncut reactions. Thank you for watching. Hey everyone and welcome. Today we're going to be watching The Godfather. This is, yes, my first time ever watching this movie. I am watching this now because it was voted by my patrons on Patreon. So thank you everybody who voted for this movie. I've always heard about it and I've heard good things, but I've never seen it and now I'm about to, so I'm excited. Thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure you leave a comment and let me know what you think. And I hope you enjoy. And I raised my daughter in the American fashion. She found a boyfriend, not an Italian. Two months ago, he took her for a drive with another boyfriend. They tried to take advantage of her. She resisted, so they beat her. Her job was shattered, held together by wire. Eesh. These two boys were brought to trial. They went free that very day. Oh, hell no. Then I said to my wife, for justice, we must go to Don Corleone. Do what I beg you to do. What is that? That I cannot do. We've known each other many years. Kitty cat. I can't remember the last time that you invited me to your house for a cup of coffee. You never wanted my friendship. You don't even think to call me Godfather. Instead, you come into my house on the day my daughter's to be married and you ask me to do murder. Let him suffer then, as she suffers. That is the cutest cat, besides Mochi, that I've ever seen. <laughs> be my friend, Godfather. Good. Someday. And that day may never come. I'll call upon you to do a service for me. Accept this justice as a gift on my daughter's wedding day. Very intriguing. Where's Michael? Don't worry, it's over. We're not taking a picture without Michael. I do feel like I have heard one of the lines that they spoke before when he said, one day I'll call upon you to do, do a service for me. But I don't know where I've, I've heard that. I feel like I've heard that before somewhere, though. Hey, son, come on, do me a favor. Watch the kids. Don't let them run wild, all right? Oh, well, you watch yourself, all right? <laughs> That's a huge wedding. Big extended family, I, I assume a lot of these people are. God damn, FBI I don't respect nothing. FBI? Come here. Damn. Press? <laughs> wow. How's it my friend? What can I do for you? This boy Enzo, they want to repatriate him back to Italy. You want Enzo to stay in this country and you want your daughter to be married. You understand everything. Thank you. Thank you. Well, son, I, I love her dress. Hey, Michael. And her hat. He's not on the list, but Luca Brasi wants to see you. Is this necessary? He didn't expect to be invited to the wedding, so he wanted to thank you. I am honored and grateful that you have invited me to your home and may that first child be a masculine child. <laughs> See that scary guy over there? Oh, he helps my father out sometimes. My brother Tom Hagen is oh, Kay Adams. How, how do you do? do? You do? Um, if he's your brother, why does he have a different name? He had no home, and so my father took him in, and he's been with us ever since. He's a good lawyer. I am honored and grateful that you have invited me to your daughter's wedding. It's a big guy. I pledge my ever-ending loyalty. Thank you, Luca. My most valued friend. So is that guy doing what the first guy should have done by visiting him, by being friendly with him? I do love the jolly atmosphere. Is that a giant mound of cookies? I guess I just have to wonder what they mean by friend in this. I feel like it's a maybe a different meaning than what we would think of. Because I don't know if any of these people that he's calling friends are friends in the sense of how we would think of a friend. I feel like I'm going to see some dentures fly out of this man's mouth or something when he's singing like that. Really good, though. 
Like, you never told me you knew Johnny Fontaine. My father helped him with his career. How? I have but one. Let's listen to the song. No, Michael. To share with you. Excellent. Excellent voice. I'm guessing he's a singer by profession. He's somewhat of a superstar, a heartthrob. He's my Tell me. As his career got better and better, he wanted to get out of it. And my father went to see this band leader. My father made him an offer he couldn't refuse. Luca Brazzi held a gun to his head, and my father assured him that either his brains or his signature would be on the contract. Dang. That's a true story. How lovely. She looks a little bit worried. That's my family, Kate. It's not me. <laughs> Fredo, my brother Fredo, this is Kay Adams. Hi. <laughs> I think Fredo's had a bit much to drink. <laughs> I don't know what to do. If I had this part in the picture, you know, this man out there, he won't give it to me. The head of the studio. What's his name? Waltz. I, thought, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. <laughs> You can act like a man! Look, you spend time with your family? Sure I do. Good, because a man who doesn't spend time with his family can never be a real man. Now this Hollywood big shot's gonna give you what you want. I'm gonna make him an offer he can't refuse. Oh, okay. So this guy's really powerful. He has a lot of godchildren. <laughs> Very large family. When am I going to California? I want you to go tonight and settle this business for Johnny. I'm very interested on how all of this works. Like, what's in it for him to help these people? Is it he does them a favor, he will accept expect a favor in return? And if they don't return that favor, do they get an offer they can't refuse? <laughs> so, in essence, by helping wide multitude of people, he has this army, basically, of people that that owe him, and it just keeps expanding and expanding and expanding. Nice All right, start talking. Uh, I was sent by a friend of Johnny Fontaine. Let me lay it on the line for you and your boss, whoever he is. Johnny Fontaine will never get that movie. A special practice. I handle one client. Now, you have my number. I'll wait for your call. Now, he didn't name his client as being this Mr. Godfather guy, but I wonder if he said, like, oh, I work for so-and-so, would he be like, oh... Or would he not know who he is? Is he kind of an underground name? I don't want to use his name unless it's really necessary. <laughs> There's my answer, yeah. <laughs> there are $600,000 on four hooks. Cartoon. Cartoon. Let's get some of these, huh? But this is one favor I can't give him. Well, he never asked the second favor when he's been refused the first. Understood? I think I understand. Johnny Fontaine never gets that movie. Now you get the hell out of here! Thank you for the dinner and a very pleasant evening. <laughs> very pleasant. So he's refusing? And even knowing who is asking this to happen, he's refusing? Blood? Oh. I was wondering if he was gonna do something to the horse, but for some reason I thought the horse was gonna be like hanging from the ceiling or something. Salazzo is known as a Turk. Uh, his business is narcotics. He needs cash, he needs protection from the police, for which he gives a piece of the action. A piece of the action? The Tatalia family is behind him here in New York. There's a lot of money in that white bar. Now, if we don't get into it, somebody else will. Uh, if we don't get a piece of that action, we risk everything we have. See, from watching Star Trek, I know what a piece of the action is referring to here. <laughs> I need a man who has powerful friends. I need a million dollars in cash. What is the interest for my family? 30%. I must say no to you. And I'll give you my reasons. Drugs is a dirty business. A little dangerous. Oh, are you telling me that the Talia's guarantee are investment? Wait a minute. Is he trying to get a bigger piece of the action here? Senor Sonotso, my no is final. What's the matter with you? Never tell anybody outside the family what you're thinking again. 
Oh, I thought he was going to take the deal. A little worried about this Solozzo fellow. Go to the uh, Tatalias uh, and uh, find out what you can. Look at that red and yellow taxi. I like that. Now, what do you want for Christmas? Oh, just you. Okay, Mariah Carey. Bulletproof vest? Tell Polly to get the car. We're going. I'll have to get it myself, Pa. Polly called in sick this morning. I feel like I'm struggling with remembering all these different names. Booker. I'm Bruno Tartaglia. You know who I am? Io ti conosco. 50.000 dollari. Da Brinci. I need a translator. Anybody speak Italian? Ah! Well, bulletproof vest did not seem to help him. There goes Mr. Brazi. Oh, Don Hagen. Merry Christmas. I want to talk to you. Well, I haven't got time. Get in the car. Aspetta, Fredo. I'm going to buy some fruit. Okay, Pa. I want some fruit, too. Get me one. Are those grapefruits? Oh, no. Oh? Because well, Rossi had his bulletproof vest. <laughs> really? Mike? What's the matter? I don't say if he's dead or alive. He's finding out from the newspaper? I guess they don't they can't just ring up his cell phone. Sonny, Michael. Is he alright? We don't know yet. You said bad, Mikey. Paulie was that uh, sick. He'd been all sick all winter. If I ever pick him up right now, I don't care how sick he is. If he's breathing, I want you to bring him to my father's house now. You understand? Just you and him. Go ahead. Well, I feel like, from what we saw, he's dead. We have time, Megan. About three hours, he'll be released with our proposition. And don't lose that famous temper of yours, huh, Sonny? Your boss is dead. Sonny was hot for my deal, wasn't he? And you knew it was the right thing to do. Sonny will come after you with everything he's got. That's why you gotta talk some sense to me. I'll try. But even Sonny won't be able to call off Luca Brasi. Yeah. Well... About that? Let me worry about Luca. You can go. So this guy really wanted the deal. And when he was rejected, he said, well, let me just take out the guy who rejected me, and he's just gonna really try to get this deal. And he's got another big mafia family like working for him working behind him or whatever he's still alive the they hit him with five <gasps> shots and he's still alive he's alive and his name's don right so he has how many sons three you make the deal sonny you know it's easy for you to say tom he's not your father i was as much a son to him as you are mike what is it well the guy at the gates they they said they got a package to take care of that son of a bitch right away. Paul, he sold out the old man, that struts. Understood. Hey, Mickey, tomorrow, you get a couple of guys, you go over to Lucas' apartment. Uh, maybe we shouldn't get Mike uh, mixed up in this too directly. That means Luca Brasi sleeps with the fishes. Ah. Uh. Rocco, sit on the other side. You blocked the rear of your mirror. Hey, Paulie, I want you to go down 39th Street, Carlos Santos. You pick up 18 matches for the guys to sleep while you bring me to bed. Are they going to get shot at? He told the one guy to move to the other side. I wonder why. So do they think that Paulie's a double-cross them? Hey, pull up, will you? I got to take a leak. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Leave the gun. I thought that was going to go the other way. Hello, Kay. How's your father? He's going to make it. I love you. Yeah, I know. 
Not in front of the not in front of the guys. They're gonna make fun of me. <laughs> Why don't you tell that nice girl you love her? Hey, come over here, kid. Learn something. Tomatoes, some tomato paste, you okay. fry it, you make sure it doesn't stick. Okay. You got it to a boil, you shove in all your sausage and your meatballs. Shove them in there. Shove those sausages in there. Where you going? To the city. Oh, I'm gonna send some bodyguards with him. Oh, he'll be all right. Salozo knows he's a civilian. Oh, so he's not part of the the family mafia business, right? When they say he's a citizen, does that mean like he's a civilian? Can I go with you? Okay. I don't want you to get involved. When will I see you again? I don't know. He's still in a very dangerous. Uh, place because he could be used as like a hostage or like leverage or like you know they could threaten his life to get to the dawn or what whoever's in charge so like he can do whatever he wants to try to live a normal life. he's never going to be able to fully pretty lights What are you doing here? I'm Michael Corleone. This is my father. There's nobody here. What happened to the guards? The police made them leave about 10 minutes ago. Sonny, Michael, I'm at the hospital. No, no Tessio's men, no detectives, nobody. Papa's all alone. I won't panic. You and I are gonna move, move my father to another room. Men are coming here to kill him. You understand? She's the only person here on staff or what? Oh, someone's here. I am Enzo, the baker. If there is trouble, I stay here to help you. For your father, for your father. Enzo, you probably never should have come here. Come here. Put your hand in your pocket like you have a gun. You'll be okay. To the men who were guarding my father, Captain. I pulled them guys off of here, eh? Huh? Why? What's the tech paying you to set up my father, Captain? Yeah, I was gonna say, he's. The other guys got to him. Oh! I'm an attorney for the Corleone family. These men are private detectives hired to protect Vito Corleone. All right, let him go. It's scary when the people that are supposed to protect you can be bought off like that or threatened or whatever the case might be here. What's with all the new faces? After the hospital thing, Sonny got mad. We hit Bruno Tattaglia at 4 o'clock this morning. Hey, listen to this. The Turk, he wants to talk. He wants us to send Michael to hear the proposition. No more meetings, no more discussions, no more Salazzo tricks. You give him one message, I want Salazzo. The Corleone family will be outcast. Take this into consideration. All right, wait. You can't wait. I don't care what Salazzo says about a deal. He's going to kill Pop. That's it. It will be me, McCluskey, and Salazzo. Let's set the meeting. Now, we insist it's a public place, some place where there's people, so I feel safe. Mm hmm Definitely. But if Clemenza can figure a way to have a weapon planted there for me, then I'll kill them both. Michael. Come in. You're taking us very personal. It's not personal, Sonny. It's strictly business. It's as cold as they come. So they're really going to do this? Let's find the trigger too tight. Jesus. All right, you shot them both. Now what do you do? Sit down, finish my dinner. Come on, kid, don't fool around. <laughs> Just let your hands drop to your side and let the gun slip out. You know, Mike, we was all proud of you being a hero and all. You fought it too. They got an old-fashioned toilet. We might be able to take the gun behind it. I just feel like this is not going to go well. What if somebody, like one of the employees, finds the gun while they're cleaning or something? How long do you think it'll be before I can come back? At least a year, Mike. Take care, huh? He sure does love his daddy. He's throwing everything away, even everything he's got with that girl for at least a year and he's putting his 
life on the line. This is terrible. It's not the way I wanted things to go at all. It should have never happened. I'm gonna straighten everything out tonight. I'm sorry about the other night, Mike. I gotta frisk you, so turn around, huh? Wouldn't it be easier to frisk him, like, when they're outside standing up? You know, New Jersey? Maybe. Are they not taking him to the restaurant? Oh, they're trying to get rid of any possible tails? Nice work, Lou. Hey, good job, Lou. Good driving. I'm gonna speak Italian to Mike. Go ahead. He's like, I'm just here for the food. <laughs> Ed non lo vuoi capire che io sono un uomo di onori. I'm trying really hard to try to figure out what they're saying, but. What's most important to me is that I have a guarantee. No more attempts on my father's life. You think too much of me, kid. All I want is a truce. I have to go to the bathroom. I frisked him. He's clean. I frisked a thousand young bombers. Okay. Is it gonna be there? Oh. Nothing. Wait. Oh. It's there. Is he gonna do it? When did you stand it? You come to find you knew. You get the sensation that he's not listening to a word this guy's saying. Mm. Oh, wow. Perfect shot. Drop the gun. Drop the gun. Drop the gun, Mike. Mike. Whew. <laughs> that was crazy. He did it. Wow. I thought for sure, like, he was going to back out. The gun wasn't going to be there. Something. He was going to get killed somehow. Shit. Who's this guy smiling? Don't drop him. I love you, Grandpa. Well, he's alert. He's moving around a bit. And I wish I would see you soon. Love your grandson, Frank. Aw, what a cute kid. Go on. I guess Michael was the one to go because they... He would be the least one that they would expect to get violent on them. Like, Sonny would not have been able to go because they, they would expect him to try something like that. The police have been cracking down on most of our operations. They hit us, so we hit them back. Send them Fredo to, uh, to Las Vegas. I'm going to learn the casino business. Yeah. He say, where's Michael? Michael. It was Michael who killed Salazzo. But he's safe. We're starting to work to bring him back now. I don't think that's what he wanted to hear. This place is beautiful. Ecco, i nomi dei morti. I wish I knew what they were saying. Mamma mia, sono cascato innamorato. Poteva essere una bellezza magari più greca che italiana. La conoscete? No. Queste ragazze. I meant no disrespect to you or your daughter. My name is Michael Corleone. Now, there are people who pay a lot of money for that information. But then your daughter would lose a father. Instead of gaining a husband. Venita Domenica, Mattina. Wonder how long he's been here. So I, I'm gonna be really honest. I don't know what's going on with Michael and this daughter. If he marries her, her is it some sort of an advantage? Or, I mean, he's got a girl back in the, in the States. And I assume he wants to get back over there with her and his family instead of settling down here in Italy. But I don't really know. It's cute though. 
But yeah, I wonder how long he's been here. Oh, her face is looking towards him a lot softer than she was before. I love this music with how beautiful this countryside is. Come on, we gotta go pick up my sister. Let's go. Oh, she's been a hit. Where is Sonny, please. It was my fault. Sonny, it was my fault. She's looking rough. Okay. Sonny, please don't do anything. Please don't do it. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna make that baby an orphan before he's born. <laughs> she's pregnant and he hit her? Huh. So it looks like it's it's probably summertime. We, we were like around Christmas before. Now they're playing in the sprinklers. This guy's getting his ass beat. Well, if that's the guy who hit her, then you know he deserves it. Ouch. My sister again, I'll kill you. Don't mess with Sonny Corleone's sister. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> well, Mr. Mike is married now. We're gonna see nipples. Oh. Those are some very forward facing nipples just <laughs> looking right at you. Now, I want to reach Michael. Nobody knows where he is. He's kind of just got married. Now you just be patient, Kay. He'll get in touch with you, all right? This poor girl. Hello? Is Carlo there? Friend of Carlo's. Would you tell him that I can't make it tonight until later? Dinner's on the table. I'm not hungry yet. You just told me to make you dinner. Hey, Bafangu, huh? Oh, Bafangu, you! Yeah, you tell him. <laughs> oh, she is not okay. Why don't you beat your heart up and dance? Clean it up! Oh! No. That is not okay. Yeah, yeah! Come on now! Kill me! Be a murderer like your father! Oh! Get out of here! That was rough. Yeah, Connie. That's when you wait there. Oh, son of a bitch. Son of a bitch! Oh, boy. Open the goddamn gate. Get off your ass. Here comes Sonny. Sonny, come on. Get out of here. Like, she is pregnant, and she needs someone to be gentle with her, to... To be kind and, you know, her emotions are going to be everywhere and this poor thing. What? Oh, God. the Tatalias or whatever if I say you're right me up my wife is crying upstairs I hear cars coming to the house I think you should tell you down what everyone seems to know they shot Sonny on the causeway he's dead <sighs> all this hell has been breaking loose and he's he can't do anything I want no acts of vengeance I want you to arrange a meeting with the heads of the five families. This war stops now. <clears throat> Cold blood, sir. We need him now. 
See the bonus there is the very first guy that we saw. Oh my friend, are you ready for doing the service? Yes. I don't want his mother to see him this way. <sighs> Look how they massacred my boy. Wow. I've definitely seen that before. Yeah, very famous line. I've seen it. It's like a meme. You know, usually it's it's made I'll in a very non-serious comedic way. They would use it's I would see it being used, but that was that was a very tough scene to watch. <sighs> Man. Tell America. To Fred Santino. And I'm Mazzato. Did he just tell him about Sonny? Prepare la macchina. Are you driving yourself, boss? Yes. Is your wife coming with you? No. Fabrizio. Michele, aspetta di lì. No! No, è volante! myself but holy shit from the Bronx and uh, Brooklyn I'm okay I'm okay she was so cute oh my god she had uh, even in Italy like she Michael was so far away from this. I don't think that get so far. Natalia lost the son. I lost the son. And if Natalia agrees, then I'm willing to let things go on the way they were before. So I believe this drug business is going to destroy us in the years to come. Times have changed. I also don't believe in drugs. I want to control it as a business. To keep it respectable. I don't want it near schools. I don't want it sold to children. Then we are agreed. The traffic and drugs will be permitted, but controlled. And there will be the peace. Natalia's a pin. He never could have outfought Santino. But I didn't know until this day that it was Barzini all along. It was Barzini all along? It wasn't Tatalia who, who shot Sonny? How long have you been back? He's back. I've been back a year. A year? Anyways, this movie is just so beautifully made. This pulls you right in. I'm working for my father now, Kate. But you're not like him, Michael. I thought you weren't going to become a man like your father. Kay, my father's way of doing things is over. It's finished. Trust me, that's all I can tell you about my business. Michael, why did you come here? I want you to marry me. So he's in the business now. You once said that the day would come when Tessio and me could form our own family. Well, Michael is now head of the family, and if he gives his permission, then you have my blessing. Forgive me, Godfather, but with you gone, me and Pete will come under Barzini's thumb sooner or later. Do I have your loyalty? Yes, always, Godfather. Don't be a friend to Michael. Do as he says. Did he just say that Michael's the head of the family now? Or... Tom Hagen's no longer consigliere. That's crazy. I ever need help who's a better consigliere than my father well one of the sons would have to take over right and if that's the case then michael would be the best option why am i out you're not a wartime consigliere tom there are reasons why you must have no part of what is going to happen maybe i could help you're out tom tom's out things are definitely going in a different direction and i don't know if that's good or bad But Michael's definitely a di different person than than at the beginning of the film, huh? He's been through some shit. Hello, Mike. Welcome to Las Vegas. Yeah. I'll be right back. I'll be All right. right. Okay. You keep them occupied. And a boy. Fredo seems to have acclimated to this lifestyle. Johnny, how are you? Hello, Mike. Nice to see you again. 
The Corleone family is thinking of giving up all its interest in the olive oil business, settling mm -hmm. out here. Mo loves the business. He never said nothing to me about selling. Yeah, well, I'll make him an offer he can't refuse. And we hope you'll sign a contract to appear five times a year. Sure, Mike. I'll do anything for my godfather, you know. Hey, Mike. Corleone family wants to buy you out. No, I buy you out. You don't buy me out. Your casino loses money. You think you can come to my hotel and take over? I leave for New York tomorrow. Think about a price. Do you know who I am? Tom. Tom, you're the conciliary. And you can Not talk anymore. to the Don. You can explain. Just a minute. If you have anything to say, say it to Michael. You don't come to Las Vegas and talk to a man like Mo Green like that. You're my older brother, and I love you. But don't ever take sides with anyone against the family again. Ever. Man. <sighs> she got back together with him? Connie and Carla want you to be godfather to their little boy. Oh, we'll see. Godfather, huh? Yeah, and is that kid theirs? Like, th this movie's moving fast. Martini won't move against you first. He'll set up a meeting with someone that you absolutely trust. And at that meeting, you'll be assassinated. I told you I can handle it. I'll handle it. I never wanted this for you. I don't apologize. That's my life. But I thought that when it was your time, that, that you would be the one to hold the strings. Governor Corleone, something. I'm not a personal vanta. We'll get there, Pop. Now listen, whoever comes to you with this Barzini meeting, he's a traitor. Don't forget that. Anthony. Come in, come in. 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 Come <laughs> oh no. I don't think Grandpa's playing right now. You know, that was such a fun, cute little scene that I was just thinking, like, that something bad's gonna happen. Oh. Wow. What a procession. Wow. So many flowers. I don't think he even really liked flowers. So now it's it's all Michael. That was one of the other mob boss guys. Was that is that Bartsini? I'm assuming with that look that Michael's giving him. Mike, can I have a minute? Barzini wants to arrange a meeting. He says we can straighten any of our problems out. I can arrange security on my territory. So maybe he feels like now that Vito's gone, he can, Barzini can take advantage of Michael or get rid of him or something. You know how they're going to come at you? They're arranging a meeting in Brooklyn, Tessio's ground, where I'll be safe. Yeah, safe. I always thought it would have been Clemenza, not Tessio. After the baptism, I've decided to be godfather to Connie Stewart, and then I'll meet with Don Barzini, all the heads of the five families. So, is Tessio working for, like, is he betraying Michael? Hey, Michael, do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Michael Francis Rizzi. Do you renounce Satan? I do renounce him. 
Whoa! Right in the eye. And all his works. Rick. And all his pumps. I do renounce them. Michael Fritzi, go in peace and may the Lord be with you. Amen. Carlos, can't go to Vegas. What do you want to do? Go back to the house, wait for my call. Man, this movie's got me all like <laughs> tensed up. The tension and the atmosphere and just it's um beautifully directed. Sal, Tom, the boss says we'll come in a separate car. He says for you two to go on ahead. Tell Mike it was only business. Tom, can you get me off the hook? For old time's sake. Can't do it, Sally. That's it for you. He knows he's been marked, I guess. It was just business, nothing personal. You have to answer for Santino, Carlo. Ah, that little farce you played with my sister. Please, Mike, don't do this to me. Today I settle all family business, so don't tell me you're innocent, Carlo. Admit what you did. Come on, you think I make my sister a widow? You're finished. I'm putting you on a plane to Vegas. Now who approached you? It's Barzini. There's a car waiting for you outside. Take it to the airport. There's no way he's letting him go, right? Hello, Carlo. Yeah. No way. Well, now who's going to pay for the windshield? And Michael is scary. He is brutal. They've created a monster. Man. It's like when all these different people went against Michael and his family, they created the one that would that would kill them. That would be their undoing. Michael, you lousy bastard. You killed my husband. And you stood godfather to our baby. You lousy, cold-hearted bastard. Michael, is it true? Don't ask me about my business, Kate. Is it true? Don't ask me about my business. No! Hey. Shouldn't have married him. In order to succeed in this business, you have to be like that. She probably knew, but she probably... This one time I let you ask me about my affairs. I just kind of chose to ignore it. Wow. That Corleone. She knows. She's got to know. What? That's it. That was amazing. What a crazy story. Wow. Talia Shire. It wasn't until the very end that I... Because I didn't really get a good look at Connie. And at one point I was like, huh, she kind of reminds me of Adrian from <laughs> Rocky. And then at the very last scene with her, I'm like, wait, that is her. But she looks different here. Oh, man. What a roller coaster, but. <sighs> Whew. Okay. <laughs> Life changing experience. For sure. Wow. I am really struggling with words right now on what to say about this movie. It has left me speechless that movie was 
a masterpiece. It was a masterpiece. I mean, I've always heard good things about it, but I kind of went in with whatever expectations and I was absolutely blown away. The acting, the directing, the atmosphere, the music was gorgeous and just so well placed. It was so perfect for the, the mood that they were trying to evoke in all the different scenes. And one of the things that I loved about this movie the most was the subtlety of it. And in two different ways. One, the mellow, somber, very subtle mood or tone that was throughout almost the whole movie really made a great contrast and made the scenes where something crazy happens when the action picks up it's shocking it's shocking because the whole movie is just so like smooth and then all of a sudden it spikes like crazy you don't expect it catches you off guard and the subtlety of just the way that they told the story i really loved they don't spell things out for you the characters don't say verbatim what's happening what they're thinking what their motives are you have to really pay attention and if you pay attention to not really their words but to their mannerisms to the maybe a, a subtle look and the directing and the like the camera angles really helped that and the music just everything came together so beautifully to tell the story with so few words i mean there were a lot of there was a lot of dialogue, but it was very kind of weaving around what was what was happening, if that makes any sense. To where there were so many times where, again, since I was watching this with with my patrons, we were watching it together, and a scene would end, and I'd be like, well, I think I understand what was going on, but they didn't tell me. I'd be like, so is that what just happened right now? And they'd be like, yeah, that was what happened. And I was just like, wow, they they conveyed that to me without saying it out loud, without spelling it out, but I got it. And I think that is just masterful. The movie really subverted my expectations. I thought that it was going to be about Vito Corleone, Corleone, especially since they made him such a charismatic character right from the beginning. Like you're pulled into this and you're like, this, this guy, you know, Morally, he's maybe not the best person, but you're just drawn to him. Despite all the things that you know that he's done, that he will do, and that he probably has done in the past, he has this aura about him. He's very calm, soft-spoken, but there's so much behind his calm mannerisms that is, like, really scary. Like, I'll tell you that we're friends and everything's okay. But one wrong move and you're fucking dead <laughs> like so great and i and i was just surprised when i thought they killed him off and even though he did survive he was not a major player in the story like he he wasn't doing anything because he was recovering until the very end when he kind of came back but then that didn't last very long and it was just it became the story of michael and how he was this war hero who was not in the business and was just trying to settle down with his girl and live a normal life, but it drew him in anyways. He could not stay out of it. He couldn't. And he really embraced it at the end. He embraced it and he became so scary, so like he the role fit him like a glove and he became the godfather wow wow oh and i will say that i did not recognize talia shire i did not recognize her until the very last scene with her she looked to me she looked very different from how she did in rocky towards the middle of the film i was like she reminds me of adrian and then at the very end, I was just like, oh, wait, no, that's her. <laughs>
I just can't get over the way that they built up the tension so well throughout the whole movie. I was, you guys couldn't see, but I was like this. I noticed kind of maybe two thirds of the way through the movie. I was like, man, I have like this nervous, like I was just like squeezing my hands. I had them in my lap and I was just like, <laughs> I was just doing this like, <laughs> That was a three hour movie that did not feel like three hours that when it ended, I definitely wanted more. I guess I'm going to have to watch the Godfather part two. I don't know when, cause I have a lot of sequels that I need to watch and I haven't been watching them because a lot of times people on my Patreon will vote for another movie that has sequels. So first they had me watch Gremlins and then Evil Dead and Tron. It's like, I haven't watched those sequels yet. And now we're watching this. <laughs> Thankfully, Galaxy Quest is just a one-time film. At least I don't have to watch Galaxy Quest Part 2. But I want to get to all these. And I will definitely get to The Godfather. And I'm, you know, I know that you guys are waiting for certain movies. And I will do my best to get to all of them. I just can't believe i never seen this before. Wow. that's This is up there with, like, Blade Runner for me. Where I just... At the end of this, I'm just like a changed person. Please leave me your comments on what you love about this movie. Maybe some of the points that I've missed because again, there is three hours and I can't really cover it all right now just on the fly, but there's so much to talk about of this movie. And thank you guys very, very much. If there is a movie sequel that I've watched the first movie that you guys want to see, comment which ones you guys want to see the most so I can try to get that going. And eventually I'll get to them all, of course. But thank you guys for being here. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you're new, check out some of my other reactions. Hopefully you guys had fun. And uh, well, there's more to come in the future. See you guys next time. Bye bye.